What's up guys? Welcome to uh, an empty, empty garage. Yeah, so it's been a really long day. Uh, we're moving, which means the garage, it's getting kind of upgraded. Also, the old uh, blown motor, this is leaving today. Somebody's coming to buy it. I'll probably give them the clutch too, so we don't need that. This though, now we're gonna have a permanent spot to work on the motor that's going in the Mustang, which means we can start tearing it apart which means go fast parts can start going in. The house itself is pretty much moved. I just, I gotta move all this stuff like off the walls and obviously that has to go to the new house. I'm really excited to show you guys the new garage. Let's just say everything but the truck. The two projects are gonna be able to fit and the Mustang's gonna be built in there and there's space. I'm gonna need some ideas though. So when I show y'all, uh, put some ideas down in the comments. Now I've gotta go load that engine up into the bed of my truck. As I was saying, I'm gonna load that engine up into the bed of my truck so I can uh, get going. But have you ever seen a 1991 F-150 with push start? That's right, push button start, you ready? Isn't that the coolest thing ever? So I have a sneaking suspicion that the sending unit in the truck is going out again. It's like time number three. If it was a long start, just like it has been doing, it's done it twice in a row now. I'm hoping it doesn't. Come on, baby, please, please, please. I don't even know what to say. I, I, if that city unit went out again, uh, we're gonna be having a very long, uh, not so wonderful conversation with said company. <sighs> Just a second. There you go. Yeah, it's getting annoying. It's. Just, so don't buy the cheapest parts, that's the moral of the story. We're just gonna leave it at that. I won't say any company names, but come on. Never said I was a quiet person. Never skip like that, boys. Never, never. We're doing the ratchet strap method again. If you saw the video a while ago, uh, we had to do this before, and uh, it's what's rolling again. So I just need the tire uh, to put on the bed, so I don't poke another hole in it like I did last time. We're just gonna lift it up with the tire and move that one into the truck. It's been a long day. Just in case, you know how it is. A little bit more. So I don't want to say anything about the ratchet trap method yet because it's still got motors to do, but if you are triggered, I mean, I, I'm sorry, I hate it. I only got one tire though. And last time I uh, loaded the motor without a tire, it punched a hole in my bed. So I gotta do what I gotta do. Now before I move that motor, I got to thinking. I don't actually know if there's oil in it. So we're gonna go ahead and drain the oil if there's oil in it. We're gonna drain it just to see. Make it a little easier and less messy. Hmm. Oh, this is turning out wonderful. Go that way. Oh, geez. What can I say, guys? We're just we're just killing it, killing the game. So, just a few problems. Uh, first off, the giant puddle of oil chilling under there. Secondly, uh, my oil container was a little more full than I thought it was. So we just got standing oil now. Seems to be the trend going on this weekend of me not thinking things through, which is okay. Um, we're just getting it out of the way before we actually start the engine build. That's all. Come on though, I mean, look at shiny part. I can't wait for this. Can't wait to get it gold too. That's gonna change like the whole look of the engine. It's gonna be really sick. I just tightened up the valve covers to try to keep it from leaking oil like I did last time. Look at that bolt, guys. Look at that. Man, I don't know what it hit, but it hit hard, hence the crack. Yeah, so we're getting new valve covers. I think I wanna get gold ones. I think it looked dope. I think we're just about ready to go ahead and get this loaded up. I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the parts inside and put the motor in the back. I think we're getting close. I gotta clean up the mess too. I wish y'all were here to help me. You know, I could use another hand. Boys and girls, we made it. Now the only concern I have is whether or not the truck's gonna fit. Now the 91 will, I'm sure that mine, uh, I don't know, and Three car garage, baby, that's what I'm talking about. So I'll be able to show you all kind of more so the plan once some of the boxes are cleared out, but we just got here. Um, but I know this, Mustang, that corner right there, that's where the motor's gonna go. This is tables for parts and stuff. That's gonna be in that corner. 91's gonna be sitting where I'm standing. And of course, mom gets a spot right there. And then, I'm sorry, 
The, uh, she's outside. She's gotta be, I don't have room. We're gonna go ahead and get this motor unloaded though. I really wanna start tearing things apart today. We'll see if I can find time, take a little break. I'm really, really hoping. You know the drill by now. I didn't know that the motor had coolant in it. Uh, it doesn't anymore. It did though. Uh, it's all in there and it's still it's still dripping a little bit. We're just christening the new floor, that's all. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get this down. It's kind of scary up there. To all you keyboard warriors out there, I mean, I don't, I don't wanna hear about the ratchet straps. We're like five for five. So it's pretty good odds. Let's be real though, if, uh, if you have means of doing it other than ratchet straps, I recommend. Unfortunately, last night I didn't have any time to kind of tear into the motor. We were really busy unpacking, but I have kind of started without you guys. I'm sorry. I think we have valve covers off so we can get a look at what we're dealing with. Everything, everything looks good, which is what's to be expected. As far as I know, this is a running motor. So I'm not expecting any really big issues with this. I just kind of want to tear it apart. Part of this is learning. I want to know how to do it. So we're going to tear it apart, put it all back together. Obviously, cams. We're getting new cams. So that's going to be replaced. Springs under there are going to be replaced. A lot of this stuff is going to be replaced. I already took the alternator off. We had it on there earlier. Went ahead and took that off. Next, I think next is going to have to be the cover, timing cover right here. And then we can take the heads off, actually. But that's probably not going to happen today because I'm going to get yelled at because yeah i really can't convey to you guys how excited i am for this motor i'm so stoked so yesterday pick up the engine hoist uh, sean backcountry jeeps you'll remember him he has this huge red jeep took it at the hidden falls he's ls swapping it he was building the motor and really inspired me to go ahead and get this thing built uh two months i think two months we should be able to start that's the plan also, in two months, the Mustang is going to be right where we're standing. So it'll be easy. Say it'll be easy. It's not going to be easy. I don't know what I'm doing. What a day, guys, man. We've been running around like crazy. So the motor is sold. It's gone, which is a good thing. It means maybe parts will be on the way. I don't know. We'll see. The garage. We've made big progress. We've got all the table set up. The motor. We're about to pull the cover off, I think. Hopefully. I got a whole bunch of the boxes cleared out. There is now space for the Mustang to park here. Um, the only problem is the Mustang is not here, which is okay, but at least the motor's here. We're gonna go ahead and get to work on that. Ooh, one more thing. I also have this to install on the truck. This might be a future product. Let me know in the comments below. Do you wanna see Covert Garage Bulletin Tennis? So I'll be upfront and honest with you guys. I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing, but we're taking bolts out, so we're gonna count it as progress. We've already got these out. It's the top ones. I've loosened some up. Uh, that's gonna have to come off. As I was trying to get the crank pulley off, I heard a really loud pop and I didn't really like it. Uh, we're gonna use better judgment this time. We're gonna wait until next time to when we have like a full weekend, then we're gonna dive into it. We're gonna hold off for now though. I can't build it now anyway. So I think this is a smarter thing to do. We are gonna do that in tenant real quick though. I'm glad nobody wanted to steal this thing. Not on their tight. Oh, see that? Uh, I do need that. So I don't actually know if, uh, if we have the right size connector. We're gonna find out. I hope I do. Could be a, a bust though. So fun fact, blue is my favorite color. Uh, also, we found one. It works. Mmm, mmm, okay, what do you think guys? I, I like that, I really dig it. I was thinking about putting some blue on the truck itself. It was really something I was considering, but I didn't. Should I, should I put blue on it? We're gonna rewrap it like this summer, so we could. So I'm gonna be testing this for a while, then eventually, covert garage bullet antennas, we may even get one in the Arctic camo to match the truck, I think that'd be sweet. Let me know down in the comments below, do you wanna see covert garage bullet antennas? I'm really thinking about getting them. In the meantime though, the garage. So here's kinda what I'm thinking. I wanna get some of those garage tiles for the floor. I was kinda thinking white, and then gray stripes where the wheels would go. That's that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. And then on the wall around, we're gonna do a blue stripe to kind of bring everything together with the blue. I think that'd look pretty sweet. I know white would be hard to clean, but when it is clean, it's gonna make everything look brighter and better. 
I have the white with the gray. I think it's gonna, let me know what colors do you think, do you think the white and the gray is a good idea? you think it's a bad idea? Probably a bad idea. Probably do it anyway. It's the story of my life. However, new garage. It is here, we got the space, the workspace. Finally, all good. The motor, that's starting soon. Like, hopefully, very soon. I cannot wait to build it and get it in the car. Uh, a lot of learning to do, but it's gonna be a really fun process. While we're in the wrenching mood, I do have that tail light here. I'm gonna go ahead and we'll fix that. I'm tired of hyper flashing. Uh, also, the bad news, the sending unit, yeah. Uh, same issues happening. You guys know the drill by now. You have to do this a lot. There he is, the suspect. It doesn't really look bad, which is worrying me. We got the new one, and we're gonna replace it with, anyway, a oh, bag side. Now this bulb did look a little different, which kind of worries me. Okay, we're gonna test it real quick, and we'll see. It's the moment of truth, did it work? That's what I'm talking about. Feels good to win, boys, feels good to win. Definitely needed this after today, after a long day of moving. My back, let me tell you, I feel like I'm 80. Well, now that the bulb is fixed, I, uh, I think today's video, it's, uh, it's effectively over. We've accomplished what we needed to accomplish. Now, hopefully we'll be back with the Mustang next weekend, which is Easter weekend. We can kind of see if it fits in the garage, kind of get all that going. It should. If it doesn't, then we're gonna have to rethink something. Thank you guys so much for watching though. I hope you enjoyed today's video. We have a lot planned for this space right here. A whole lot is gonna happen to make this the dream garage on a budget. I really can't wait. I can't wait to get both the 91 and the Mustang here. Get this car built. It is gonna be something else, guys. But y'all take it easy. Keep crushing it. And until next time, take care.